Pump Jack fans, I'm Hillary with your Five Questions With segment, and this week I'm joined by Whit Dorsey out of South Alabama. Whit, thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. You have been very successful in your career. You hit 480 in high school, 381 in JUCO, and you're leading the team at South Alabama with 337. Where does that come from? Is it raw talent? Is it hard work? Tell us about it. Well, ever since I was younger, I've, I've had a batting cage, and that's basically mostly every day I've worked on it. So I guess it'd have to be hard work, I'm guessing. And uh, uh, at South Alabama, we have a pretty good hitting coach, too, and he's, he's helped me progress throughout the past year. You kind of came here and coach has been throwing you in the fire. You've been catcher, left field, next thing you know you may end up on the mound. How have you handled the diversity in positions you've been playing here in Kilgore? Well, catching-wise, it hasn't been you know, that hard because I've caught my whole life, all through junior college, high school, and just recently I started playing outfield. I've worked on that most of the spring, so it's a new position for me, left field, but I've, I've gotten pretty used to it. But the other night when I caught, First, the first batter was kind of a little shaky for me, but I, it was kind of like riding a bicycle. I, I got used to it really quick. How did you end up in South Alabama? I know we were talking about it a little bit before with going on officials, South Carolina. Why don't you tell the fans about it? Well, uh, out of junior college, South Carolina was recruiting me a little bit, and I went up on a visit there and you know saw them play a couple times and looked around and everything. And one day the the coach that was recruiting me, the pitching coach, called me up and said he was getting that head coaching job at South Alabama. And I taught him the most, and I really liked him a lot. So he asked me to follow him down there, and I, I said, I said I'm with you. So been with, been there ever since. What is your most embarrassing moment in baseball? Uh, I'm guessing it would have to be when I was uh, probably 15 or 16 years old. I was catching uh, a war ball off the cup. And uh, I, I called time. I thought everything was okay, I, you know, because I went up the mound. I was walking out to the mound to, to get a get a little breather. And next thing I know, I hit my knees. It hit me just like that. Ooh. So I had to be taken off the field. I was pretty embarrassed. I was pretty That's embarrassed. Pretty embarrassing and very <laughs> painful. A lot of college baseball players have odd superstitions. Do you have any? Uh, I would have to say facial hair, I guess. As you can see now, <laughs> you know, if, if I kind of if I kind of go into a slump or something, I'll, I'll completely shave my face or something, get a new haircut, something along those lines. Well, I guess the change up is a good thing. Yeah, I just decided to do this today. Is I didn't feel like shaving it all off. <laughs> well, Whit, thanks for joining us, and thanks for joining us, Pump Jack fans. Don't forget to go to PumpJacksBaseball.com and look up the schedule and come to Kilgore. It's for your Pump Jacks.